everybody. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's me, your homegirl, Adosha Rice, the author of Woohoo! Curly Hair Adventures, What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon, and the Beauty and Barber Survival Plan. It's free. Y'all know where it's at. It's on my Global Hair Care Patreon page. All of that information is down in the link. That's right. And so that's a free ebook to help everybody you know in the beauty industry who wants to know how do we survive through these hard times times or whenever they are okay so that that book is just totally free all you have to do is just visit my patreon page download that baby and that's it all right so today we're going to be having a wonderful wonderful topic but y'all know before i jump right into it i would like for you guys to do what everybody on youtube wants you to do right don't forget to hit the what subscribe button don't forget to hit what that hard button or that thumbs up button, you know, and don't forget to tell all your friends about Key Lolo, your homegirl, AKA LaDosha, all right? So what is the topic that we're gonna be talking about today? It's a topic that I get asked to talk about all the time. Everywhere I go, people always want to know. I could be at a party. Well, I ain't doing that too much anymore. You know, I could be in the hair salon, in the grocery store. Some people actually recognize me like, hey, ain't you that lady? Yeah, I'm that lady. And so they want to know the, 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 the same question. And y'all know what it is. LaDosha, how do you rap? You know, how do you rap? I'm like, you mean rap as in a fly girl, a fly girl. A fly girl is a girl who wants you to see her name, her game, and her ability. Two gold teeth and cold cash. No, not that rap. Oh, oh, you, oh, okay, hold on. Maybe, are you talking about the Christmas rap? That kind of, how do you rap? No, 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 not, not that rap. What kind of rap are you guys talking about? Oh, I get it. How do you wrap your hair? Okay, okay. Silly me to think as the number one hip-hop fan of all times that they would be talking about rapping, but no, they're talking about how to wrap hair. That's like a question I get asked all the time. So what I'm going to do is, let me just move this sign out the way because it's bothering me, you know. So here's what it is. Wrapping hair is like really essential to those people who want to preserve so much work into styling their hair the next day or later on, okay? So wrapping hair is not for everybody. It's a common styling practice that's in the African-American community, though anybody can wrap their hair. I do have customers who are not African-American and they want to know how to wrap their hair. Can they wrap their hair? The answer is yes. Can men wrap their hair? They most certainly can, depending on what hairstyle they're trying to preserve or keep up. So anybody who wants to wrap the hair to preserve the smoothness or have less work later than wrapping hair is for you, okay? Now, wrapping hair is not the cure-all. A lot of people feel like if you wrap your hair, then that means you don't have to do anything. You just calm it down and that's it. So what they don't tell you at the hair salon, which I keep telling y'all, all these nuggets are in this book, which is available on Amazon, airwrightbooks.com, or you can just download this baby, okay? And don't forget, it does come to life. That's right. Some videos come to life in the book. But here Here's the thing, wrapping is not one of those modalities that's going to give you the carefree hair that everybody's looking for, which is what my book is talking about. Well, one of many things. Um, there is no such thing as carefree hair. So I want to make that abundantly clear. A lot of people swear up and down that if they do this, you know, um, they don't have to do anything, they don't want to do anything, or they oftentimes they're very disappointed. Now, again, to those of you who are new to my platform, that's my area of expertise. I'm really, really focusing 
all of my efforts to talk to five key, you know, consumers. And number one, the number one consumer in that in those five categories that I'm only just trying to, you know, reach out to are those people, number one, who are pretty much frustrated. They're just frustrated with their hair. They're tired of all these videos, these YouTubes, these damn hair care products. I mean, come on, can't can one of y'all get it right? So I'm your girl, okay? Number two out of that five. That person would be the person who's been, um, they've had a, a lot of experiences around discrimination. You know, people uh, not letting you in the clique or people are not letting you in the job. Maybe you felt it in some dating arenas. Hair discrimination is very real. People are asking you things like, what's wrong with your hair? Why your hair that color? You know, like those kinds of things that they're just letting you know that, you know, they're not, they're judging you some kind of a way because of your hair. People who are e experiencing that or has experienced that and have some emotional, like, you know, ah, mm, mm, I'm your girl. The third of that five are those people who have been hair shamed, which is almost like discrimination, except with hair shaming, it's really direct. Hair discrimination can be a little bit subtle. Like, you know, is she wearing a weave? Because I don't, you know, I don't, huh? You know, like that kind of thing. Hair shaming is more direct. You kind of hear things. You're taunted. You're teased. Like, you know, um, uh, you know, are you balding? Like, girl, what's wrong with your hair? Or, you know, um, ooh, them weak, girl. Them, that weak. Mm, I don't know about it. I don't put, no, this is my real hair. Or, you know, as for Apple, jazz for Jack. You ain't got no hair in the back. You know, that type of just very overt. That's hair shaming. Uh, you know, ooh, I smell something. You know, just being um, ostracized overtly, directly, indirectly about your hair, okay? And then the fourth would be uh, those people who uh, they just absolutely, you know what, I just hate my hair. I don't care. I'm just watching this video because I'm just going to see what y'all idiots talking about this time. I'm just, I hate Hair. That's why I always say at the end of my video, if you just don't like hair, you can't stand hair, you're not interested in hair, don't worry about it. Just rub your beautiful bald head. There are a lot of women who don't have hair disorders and some that do, and you know what? They just don't like hair hair, but they care about the skin on their head called a scalp. So I'm your girl. And then last but not least are just the overall general population of people who want to know more, but from a credible source. So this topic of wrapping hair is going to be deliberately focused and geared towards those people because I'm not trying to sell you anything. What am I trying to do? Tell you what they don't tell you at the hair salon. I wrote the book because you just can't microwave everything. Videos are good to just kind of, you know, pass the time before a pandemic. People just like to scroll as kind of alternative to watching TV and I think they're pretty cool. But my platform is really for those people. I don't want to call them intellectuals, but they really value themselves, their money and their time. They're really working on, you know, the me. And that's the ongoing, you never stop working on self. So that's really who this content, my books, my products, that's what they're about. Let's just call it hair practicality. How's that? So when it comes to wrapping hair, that's why I started the video off saying, number one, wrapping hair is not the cure-all. A lot of people will come to the hair salon and they're deliberately looking to uh, learn how to wrap their hair or get a hairstyle that they can wrap because they're believing that, you know what, if I wrap my hair, I don't have to do anything. So as their licensed cosmetologist, y'all know what I'm telling them. Well, you better put on a wig because there's no such hairstyle that's carefree. A wig, you can just buy it, shake it, put it on and keep growing and keep it moving. Ball heads, locks, twists, flat arms, roller sets, you name it, Jerry, I don't care. You're going to have to do something to help maintain that. And so I'm gonna be using a fabric analysis to make this very simple. So let's start off with some rules of engagement on wrapping. So I have a lot of stuff here, but let me start off with number one. You know what I'm talking about, those three principles. Hair care and hairstyling are about what? Let's hit it, y'all. The right products, bing. The right tools, bing and the 
the right what? Technique. If y'all ain't hear anybody else saying that, y'all know what they, LaDosha been saying that since 1980. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was from the rap. I was about to, you know. Uh, yeah, but for a long time, I've been talking about these three things because it's overlooked. It's so many emphasis on buy, buy, buy and look like this that people forget it's the how-to that's missing in the beauty and barber industry. So, number one, you got to have the right tools. So, when you want to wrap your hair, there are a lot of tools that you can achieve this depending on the health of your hair. That's what they don't tell you at the hair salon. So... These tools are great for anyone whose hair is not compromised. You have a carbon comb, and I'm always promoting these from blackhair.com. That's B-L-A-K.com. And, of course, I'll put that in the link, okay? Uh, number two, you have Yo All Purpose or Barber Comb, all right? Okay. Number three, the Aveda Paddle brush, I love it. You can get them in various uh, models. But remember, I'm just talking about what's right. So I'm telling you right now, you can go get your knockoff ones. But the Aveda is the best paddle brush on the planet, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. And then last but not, oh, another one, you have a boar brush. Now, we all know that the ultimate boar brush of all times would be, uh, what's the name of that? Oh, the Pearson Mason brush that was ordained by Queen of England. Well, I don't have one of those in my arsenal yet. But in the meantime, a good old-fashioned boar or porcupine bristle brush, if you are not for the swine, bristles are going to be good. And I'll talk about that. And then you have the old, good old-fashioned Denman brush. And so this is the nine-row heavyweight. And we'll talk about why the nine-row heavyweight brush is good, okay? So this video, I'm just breaking it down, so just work with me, all right? So let's start off with number one, combs. Combs are really important because combs need to be sturdy. They don't need to be cheap and flimsy. We don't want the teeth, you know, bending and popping. So this is why carbon combs and all-purpose combs are the best. So the analogy is going to be my clothes, my outfit. Y'all like my outfit? So look at taking care of your hair like you would your clothes. So you have to have a nice frame and you want to make sure you're buying clothes that fit your body. If not, they're going to do what? Fall off, a la comb. So don't use cheap combs. I didn't say expensive. When I say cheap, we're talking about what? The quality. So I don't care whose name is on the carbon comb as long as it's what? A carbon comb. Yes, that's what they don't tell you at the hair salon. And I'm merely promoting blackhair.com because what? That's where I buy my ass from, all right? Okay. Um, and the all-purpose combs are sold there as well or on Amazon. But of course, um, next up, we have the boar brush. Now, the boar bristle brush is wonderful because it has a cushion. You see that? You see how the cushion is moving? And that's going to give so that as you wrap the hair, because hair is pliable, you want bristle, uh, bristles that go, the other thing that move. The other thing is that the bristles have various lengths, just like the hair on your head. All fibers are not the same length. It looks that way to the eye. We call that an optical illusion. But in real life, every single strand of hair on your head is a different length. It's just, it just looks like it's, it is, but it isn't, okay? We're humans, not dogs. You got me? All German Shepherd's hair are the same length. It all comes, okay, you got me, okay, next up. We have the paddle brush. Now, I'm liking the Aveda, but remember, it doesn't matter whose name is on it as long as it's what, the right kind. I'm promoting the Aveda uh, paddle brush because in my opinion, which are like YouTube channels, everybody got one, it's the best, okay? So, I like the Aveda paddle brush for the same reason that I like the boar brush. You see that? Woohoo! You see how those collapse? Because as you style the hair, you really want a, uh, um, 
a uh, bristle, a brush, I'm sorry, that's going to have some give so that you can work your way around the head without tearing um, the hair out. And like the bristle brush, these are different lengths and they are also in different angles because nobody's head is just straight. You see that? See how it's kind of, we call that ergonomics. But the base of it, that paddle, is sturdy, just like what I'm saying when it comes to these good quality combs. We don't want them flimsy. We want the base to be sturdy so you can do what? Work it, just like the claws. It has to be, you know, I have to buy claws that's going to fit my size 18 frame. If not, if they're too big, they're going to slide off. If they're too tight, I'm going to be, you know, you know, getting the greedy grotto out. Y'all like, y'all know my greedy grotto. Hit the heart button. Come on. Come on in the chat. I know y'all in the chat want to say something. So in the chat, if you know about greedy grotto, hit me, you know, give me a happy face emoji, all right? And then um, also last up, we have the Denman brush. Now the Denman brush, like the paddle brush, it too has bristles that are what? Round and ergonomic. They're not just straight because the head is not flat. So you want to use tools that, you know, complement the roundness on the head because as you move, the bristles will give, but the base is what? Sturdy. That's why the heavyweight is a really good one. Now, I know there are a lot of knockoff Dimming brushes on the market and I'm saying knock off for a reason because they cheap <laughs> I'm sorry listen I'm, I'm just keeping it 100 has anybody ever bought a knockoff purse come on hit the heart button I'm gonna hit the heart button before I can afford one Chanel I just have one real Chanel purse I bought some knockoff ones there is a difference however for aesthetics if you just want to represent and you know do it for the party whatever go ahead but you know as artists we don't like that because we feel like you know that's a whole nother video okay so I would get the real deal Holyfield so the Denman brush has the Denman you know embossed onto the handle this one is the slip proof one it's more like the professional uh, grip but you don't have to have this at home you could just use the regular one but the professional grip is because we're using oil a lot and it won't slip out of our hand also for men who are styling hair this one is a little bit more sturdier and not so dainty for men and women you know who have bigger or you know just some really thick fingers okay so we have that one all right so now we have the good tools now we're going to go over the wrong tools now this is where people really you know it's, it's about to get kind of thick like oh okay put your earbuds adjust your earbuds and you know dig them in real quick if you rich and you got those i those I, ear pods so what i don't care you got some ear pods whatever whatever cashmere sweater okay i'm gonna get something like some more money okay anywho so now here y'all go listen up don't use these damn combs, okay? If you're a kid, I'm sorry for cussing. I'll tell your mama. The mama, don't should be cussing on these videos. I'm sorry, okay? But I'm just, I'm angry, okay? These are good combs, but they're not for wrapping hair because the teeth are too wide. Remember, it's got to fit. This comb will not fit. The objective of wrapping the hair, and I'm going to show you in a minute, is to smooth the hair out. The teeth are too wide, and no, you can't do it quicker. What you can do is wrap your hair properly, okay? This comb, and these are, you're like, don't you have the same combs? Yeah, because these are my go-to combs for education. Now, I'm not hating on Goody. I grew up on Goody. So, yes, you can use a Goody comb for certain things. Wrapping ain't one of them. You know, if you old school, you know about the crab wrappers come on in the chat you remember the biters the crab wrappers you know what i'm talking about that old school 1980 stuff this is like you know the knockoff of an ace okay ace is really the better comb but goody was for you know you know i'm from the hood so in the hood you couldn't afford an ace you got a goody comb now goody is that cheap plastic you know and then you see what happens the teeth will start to bend i said the teeth okay uh the teeth will start to bend and so when the teeth bends, you know what that means, right? 
Yep, it's going to rip your hair. And you're gonna go back to the hair salon or you're gonna look in the mirror and you're gonna say, why is there a hole in my tresses? Because you use a cheap comb. So remember, a stylist or a hairstyle is only as good as the products and tools you use. Okay, keep that, I'm gonna say it again. A hairstyle or the stylist, you don't like me, we're only as good as the products and tools we use. Again, I'm not saying that it has to be a goodie or an ace. I'm saying that you have to get the right comb. So goody is a good comb, but for what this person was using that comb for, it was incorrect, all right? All right, so now we're gonna go up to what do you put on your hair when you're going to wrap it? So again, we're gonna start off with don't. Number one, don't use grease, okay? Grease is too heavy, it's gonna make the hair stick. That's enough of that. Number two, don't use these liquid oil sheens because they'll wet the hair and make the hair greasy. We're gonna talk about what's gonna happen when you wrap the hair. So I don't care whose name is on it. Oh, what if you just do a halo? No, I said no. And I'm gonna tell you why. Do not use these liquid oil glosses. Now they come in many, many brands, so I'm not gonna name any names. They are good. Remember, right products, right tools, right technique. This product is not for the right technique. Hair glossifiers are great, but you do not want to wrap your hair with them. And we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna talk about it, okay? Um, uh, shea butters and coconut oils and cocoa butters, y'all already know how I feel about it. Hail to the no, no, no. Y'all know about hail to the no, to the no, no, no. Come on, y'all, sing with me, hail to the no. To the nah, to the nah, nah, nah. Y'all know who that is, okay? Hell to the nah, nah, nah. Do not use greases. Do not use shea butters. Do not use coconut oils. Do not use cocoa butters to wrap your hair. Instead, put it on your lips, put it on your booty, put it on your feet, put it on your elbows, but do not put this in your hair or on your scalp, okay? Why? It's too heavy, all right? What can you use? Oil sheen. Now I know what you're saying. Oh, it's not eco-friendly. It's killing the environment. Um, it's, uh, what's that? Oh, it has petroleum. You know, gasoline that's gonna, you know, gas up your car. Okay, guys, some of that is true, but that's a little far stretch, okay? So you do want to put something on the hair to reduce the friction as you're rubbing. Now, this is optional, okay? We're going to talk about when to use the oil sheet, but yes, it's cheap. This is not going to harm the uh, environment. On the back, it's telling you that it is 55-something-something uh, some, some, something compliant. So that means there is, it's not going to harm the universe. These companies are listening to us. They are listening to you saying the consumers want us to be more environmentally conscious. So this is Lustrous Pink, throwback old school. Keep it curly, keep it girl, okay? So you know Lustrous, you remember Lustrous though back in the 70s, okay? So Lustrous still rocking it, but they have become environmentally conscious. It's on the back of the can. I don't got the good light, but I'm gonna take a picture or something. It's, uh, it's compliant, guys. It's safe. It's not going to harm uh, the universe, and that's not making light of mother, you, you know, uh, mother, uh, mother universe. We need to, uh, ex I mean, respect the universe. So that is not a joke. I'm just making light of it. But big ups to the makers of the uh, lustrous pink, uh, pink hair sheen product. I mean, let me get this right. Uh, big ups to lustrous pink. All right. Big ups to that company for being environmentally conscious, all right? So I'm laughing, I'm joking, but in all honesty, it is not a joke. We want to respect Mother Earth. And so this company has said on the back of here that they are compliant and they are not violating the ozone layers of the earth, okay? Or in the environment, I'm sorry, okay? Now, I done got technical. So now the question is, I'm working, y'all see how I'm going in this video. I'm starting off with what's wrong, what's right, okay? So now we're gonna go into wrapping the hair. 
All right? So uh, first things first, let me wrap the hair first, and then we're going to go into what's wrong, okay? Y'all ready? Now, remember, it's about the right products, the right tools, the right techniques. Now, my hair is old, so I washed my hair about four days ago, so it's time for me to wash it. I'll probably wash it, you know, uh, Wednesday, okay? I wash my hair once a week, all right? So when you wrap your hair, what you must do is comb the hair all the way out. Even if you have curls and you just spent $75, comb the hair all the way out. Now what happens is when people start to see hair, now let me see. Okay, all right, okay. Well, sometimes you see a lot of hair come off. All right, you have hair in the comb, okay? That is okay, guys. It's okay to have hair in the comb, all right? So, or hair that comes out, because after all, you are combing out the hair. Make sure you go underneath. Now, I'm going to come back with part two of this video and wrap. In the meantime, I want you guys to practice combing the hair out starting from the crown all the way down. No matter how short or how long, and I do have an undercut, you'll see that. So I'm gonna come back with part two on how to actually wrap the hair. The first part was we're covering the tools needed to wrap hair, the tools and the product. Now we're gonna go into wrapping the hair. I'll be right back. Peace, love, and hair. If you ain't got no hair, rub your beautiful what? Forehead. I'll be back. But for now, just settle. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think very deeply. That's my Mary J. Blige. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, Kara's one, Kara's one.